Despite the ongoing economic challenges, the Pan American Life Insurance Corporation has been able to increase its business portfolio in Barbados over the last year by almost 20%. That's according to Keith King, the general manager of the corporation. He made the comment at the, as the company introduced the new CEO and managing director for the Caribbean, William Schultz. This is indication that there is room for growth in this market. You've heard before that our intention is to increase our market share. And that is in fact what we are doing. And I'll emphasize again, in times of difficulty, insurance sells more. So it is times like these that you find, and history has shown that in times like these, more insurance sales than even ever before. Commenting on the impact that ongoing job losses have had on the company, Mr. King says they have measures in place to help customers who've been displaced. Because you've lost your job does not necessarily mean you lose your policy. Um, there are non forfeiture provisions in each contract that we sell, which allows the policyholder, even in times when you can't pay a premium, to be able to pay it from the values of the policies that have been accumulated. There are also provisions where when you, if you've lost a job and you're off for a couple of months, you can come back and reinstate. Meanwhile, the incoming CEO and general manager for the Caribbean says he's looking forward to the new post. This is a great personal and professional opportunity for me to run this region, to manage an operation in 14, 15 countries with very great importance here because this is an opportunity, this is a market where we can grow this business. I work, look to work very closely with Keith in developing new products, delivering the products we have, and improving our back office so that we can deliver policies faster, pay claims faster, and do all those kinds of things that are important to the community and those people who trust us with their insurance programs. Finance Minister Chris Sinclair is dismissing media reports that government is trying to make Barbadians accept three-year tax certificates instead of the traditional cash tax refunds. Minister Sinclair made the comment yesterday as he wrapped up debate on a resolution to approve the amount to be raised by the issue of Treasury bills and tax reserve certificates and tax refund certificates. It is a blatant untruth to suggest that the government is attempting to pay people tax returns and, re and, and give them tax in the form of tax certificates rather than as is normally done by a cash deposit in your bank account uh, or by a check cut by the accountant general. It's not true and it will not happen. We paid out more than $100 million last year, Mr. Speaker, sir even in spite of our financial difficulties. Meanwhile, Mr. Sinclair says tax refunds for returns filed this year should start from sometime next month. And very shortly, as soon as the collations are done and so forth and so on, because the tax filing period is ended, those checks will start, will start to be paid as people can expect them from as early as, uh, as, early as, as, as July uh, June, July, and August, which is the heaviest payment period, and then, of course, the ones that have issues, you work those through, and those are paid in September, October, November, and so forth and so on. Here now is a look at how stocks traded on exchanges across the region.